it's Wesley, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be installing some inlay stickers onto one of my guitars. Now, these stickers aren't your average sort of cheap Chinese inlay stickers that are gonna fall off in sort of 10 seconds after you've installed them. These inlay stickers are really thin and go on the fretboard really nicely. I've already installed a set on one of my guitars, so I thought I'll do a video and show you guys how to install them. The company is called Fretlook. Let's see if that will, uh... there we go, Fretlook. And you can see that I'll be installing the striped Age White. I'll be installing these onto my Sterling Cutlass. As you can see there, it's just got the really boring dot inlays. I'll just show you which one that is there. If it will focus in, there we go. So yeah, it's just got the basic inlay dots and I thought it needs, it needs something, the pick guard, and the body look amazing, but I just thought I, I need to I need to do something with that fretboard. So I reached out to the guys at Fret. Look, I purchased a few of their items, and uh, I was like, well, let's give it a go. Raphael over at Fret. Look was really really helpful. I asked him questions as like, what what do you think would look best on this guitar, on that guitar, and he went through all of the inlay stickers that they do, and we picked out the best ones that would suit these guitars. I'll put a photo up on screen of the inlay stickers that I installed onto my Agrifish Harley Benton signature model. But now let's move over to the workbench as I <laughs> as I call it. It's not really a workbench, but it's where I do all my work and we can get these inlay stickers installed. So before we start, I just wanted to show you guys what you're gonna need to install these. So first of all, you're gonna to want to use any sort of fretboard cleaner. I use the Axwax, there we go, it's focusing in now, the Axwax fretboard conditioning oil. And I did this yesterday, I've left it to sort of dry overnight, because then it will get rid of any sort of gunk or anything like that. And then you just wipe away the excess. Uh, if you still see anything on there, just get a brush and just sort of brush it off. But once you know it's completely clean, then you are good to go. You need, as I say, you need your cloth to, to wipe the excess off. A pair of scissors to cut the uh, fretboard markers in a shape that you need them to be. I'll show you, basically, I'm gonna do probably the first three or four, and then I'll just speed up the process because it's just gonna be the same thing over and over again. Um, and I'll explain it as best as I can, but obviously you're also gonna need your fret look fretboard stickers. And after that, I will be putting on a pack of turbo slinkies. This is a new pack for me. Never tried these before, so that'll be interesting to see what they're like. And uh, well, let's get started. So when you open yours, obviously I've already opened mine. And what you'll see is this here. I'm just looking into the camera now. So the great thing about this is that they give you a QR code that you can scan with your phone, just the, just the camera on your phone, and it will take you straight to the website on how to install these. It also comes with a nifty little pick there. It's quite a thick pick, but the great thing about when they include these picks, I'm just gonna to have to rip that out there because it's stuck in with glue. There we go. That will just come straight off. What you can use this for is to actually, once you put the stickers on, you can sort of rub them, I guess, or sort of help them go on. It's like a scraper with like vinyl. You would always get these sort of plastic, big plastic square things and you just sort of help it on. I will use this and I recommend using this as well because it's quite thick. So let's move on to the first one. So you can see here, if it will focus, so you've got it numbered there, so that's gonna obviously be the first fret, the third fret, and the fifth fret. And then you move on to the, come on, there we go, seventh, ninth, twelfth, and fifteenth. And you, you can see that the twelfth is a little bit longer, especially because it's got sort of double dots on here, that's gonna work really well. So let's move on to these and show you how to install them. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to cut it. Like so. You can also, if you've just restrung your guitar and you thought, actually, I wanna put some inlay stickers, you can install them if the strings are already on. You can just slide that sort of under the strings and apply it. So, we know that's the first fret. Got that here. And it's got a line in the middle there, if you can see that. It's not gonna focus, I don't think. 
but you can see that black line and that's the center line so if you put it sort of in the middle of the guitar fretboard there you'll see that it will just go straight in the middle so let's do this here and once you've got that you peel the backing off I've probably done this one a bit too short and it should come away from there if it doesn't peel away straight away just give it an extra sort of push down on whoop, just get a sort of push it down onto there like that give a bit of a rub and it should come straight off like that and then you find the center which should be about there there we go then you get your pick That's about center for me. Probably not actually. Let's just move that up there a bit. I'm always rubbish with DIY stuff. <laughs> so pop that there. That's about center to me. If it's not, then oh well. <laughs> Let's just come there. Let's just leave that on there first, like that. And move on to the next one. So this one's going to go on the third fret. If we leave it as long as that, I think I did the other one a bit too short. And then move on to the fifth fret. So that one there. That one needs a bit of a trim as well. Yeah, perfect. So we're back enough. And the great thing about this one is obviously with the dots, you can just line the end, the rounded end bit up there. Actually, I'm gonna have to cut this a bit more. It needs to go down just ever so slightly. There we go there. Perfect. I should cover that nicely. So just put, put a decent amount of pressure on there, like that. There we go. And move on to the seventh fret. Does get a bit sticky. <laughs> 
So seventh fret. And obviously the more you go down the fretboard, the thinner it's gonna get. So you need to cut the these parts a lot thinner. So yeah, as, as you pull that one away, that's still sort of stuck to the to the backing. So like I did before, just give it a bit of a giving me a good old rub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. As uh, Ainsley Harriet likes to say, give your fret markers a good old rub. So just pop that on there over the seventh fret. straight over that and by the way if I can do this anyone can do this there we go all right so I'm gonna speed this process up a little bit and then obviously when I get to the end I'll slow it down a bit more um, and see how it goes Now from the 15th fret, it does change over to the other side. So if we do that there like that, push that down there, just like so. That should do it there. Is that straight? I think straight, I, th I think it is straight. <laughs> But as you get down the fretboard, it is slightly harder to do because obviously the frets get thinner and thinner. So let's move on to the last three now. And, and they give you an extra one there just in case if you've got a, an extra fret. See now it's getting really tight down at the fretboard now, especially on the 19th fret. And there we have it, that's them installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for probably about half an hour, 45 minutes, just so it can cure and sort of adhere to the fretboard. Um, every once in a while, I'll grab the pick and sort of just give it a, a bit of a push down like so, just to help it adhere. But as I say, if you give it sort of half an hour, 45 minutes, just give it time to stick and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. So what I've done is I've let the fret markers sort of cure for about half an hour, 45 minutes. I've put everything together. I've put the strings back on the guitar and this is what it looks like. The grand reveal. And I think I could have put them on better myself, um, but uh, you can see down there some of them are a bit wonky, but from a distance you won't even really notice it. It's not that far off, um, but I'm sure you guys will do a lot, lot better job than, than I did. As you can see at the beginning of the video, I did a sort of solo thing, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I did a bit of sort of playing demonstration and you can't feel these fret markers in the slightest. It's, it's like having, it's like having actual inlays in your guitar you don't feel them at all it just makes the guitar look so much nicer so what i'm going to do for you guys is i'm going to link fretlux information in the description for you i'll link their website 
their Instagram and also the specific fret markers that I used on this guitar. If you could go and follow them on Instagram, if you've got any questions about their products or if you've bought any of their products and you've got queries on how to install them, anything like that at all, just give them a shout and they'll help you out. I'd like to say thank you for checking out this video. If you did like it, hit that like button as it's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up to date with all my future videos. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section and I'll answer them to the best of my ability and I'll catch you in the next video.